Voice of the Girl, Child and Vulnerable Persons Foundation has reiterated its commitment to continue providing financial literacy support and entrepreneurship empowerment skills to boost economic status of women and societies amongst present economic challenges in the country. The Empowering Women and Transforming Lives Finance for Safety Project 2024 is focused on women to reset their minds and be self-reliant without dependent, depending on society. Speaking, the Executive Director of Voice of the Girl, Child and Vulnerable Persons Foundation, Aisha Bello, said poverty has eaten deep into society with negative impact on women, stressing the need to empower and boost women businesses for self-dependency in communities. Poverty, it's always one of the major factors. So we thought of how do we go about it, then we thought of empowerment. But empowerment in the sense that um, we are trying to empower women. Because if you look at it in the all angle, when it comes to intricate kidnapping, banditry, um, um, trafficking, human trafficking, um, gender-based violence, women are at the center of it all. So we felt like because of this poverty rate, they tend to be vulnerable to all these crimes. So why not empower them to support the community and support the state at large? So we thought of, okay, let's have something like this to empower them to expand their businesses. Some of them are not just normal people, but they are into petty, petty trading. So we felt, oh, these are the right set of people that we can empower, that we know that it will have a significant impact in our community. In business, people are failing in business because of their inability to manage finances. So, but in this case, we are trying to push this measure to them to be able to gain this knowledge and understanding on how to manage their finances. So once they're able to get it right with their finances, they can get it right with almost every other aspect of their business. So for the purpose of women, women are always industrious. They are productive. They are the ones that take care of the home, they manage everything. They are mostly the people that are doing most of the spending of a house. So if you can get the women to get it right from the home front, they can get it right from the business front. So all you need to do is just information and empower them mentally and teach them what they need to know about financial. The foundation added that financial dependency of women has led to sexual, gender-based violence and other related crimes in society, noting that it was important to reset their minds with good information by building strong financial independence to improve family economy. Some of the beneficiaries of the empowerment expressed delight, noting that the financial point of sale will change their economic status. Very grateful and I'm very happy for this opportunity and it's going to help me financially going forward moving ahead with my studies and everything concerning me and my family. I'm having an issue with my hand so I can't really do much but with this I can be able to stand on my own hand stand without looking for assistance from anyone so I know, I'm hopeful that I will go higher with it and it will take me places. I'm so happy for the opportunity that I have been shortlisted, nominated for this program and I'm a beneficiary. It's going to help because I'm managing a small business and at times people will come, do you have POS, let me make transaction or let me pay you via POS. You see, it's a step up. Thank God for this POS. It's going to add more to my business. It's also going to add up to my business. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.